Hey folks, what's happening? Captain G here. Yeah, that's how you spell it. And today we're gonna talk about painting the boat. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. So first off, we're gonna talk about the two worst enemies of painting your boat. Now you wouldn't imagine, but as you're laying down that fresh, beautiful paint, and you see that white snow coming over the horizon, you go, what the heck is that? Oh my God, that's dandelion pollen. And as the dandelion pollen is just flaking through the air, and it's coming down, you go, no, 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 don't go on, no, just, just, just don't fall there. And as it sets in your beautiful fresh paint, there's some new words that are gonna come out of your mouth. And you better make sure there's no kids around, cause their mama's gonna slap you silly. And the second worst thing about laying your paint, the worst enemy you can have is that fresh, manly sweat that comes dripping from your body when you're working like a real man. Oh yeah, that's real good stuff. And you girls, you know you like that. I know you do. You can't say anything, but a woman loves that smell. But then that smell is your enemy. When you're dressed from head to toe, and it's 100 degrees outside, you're just sweating and dripping all over the place, and you're laying down that fresh, beautiful paint, and then you're looking down, and then boop, just drops on your paint. So you have to find ways to stay dry and not stay wet on your paint. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing is your gun adjustments. As you can see right now, I have this beautiful metal shiny gun, and it's got a few adjustments, and I even have a few adapters on it. Now the first adapter here on the bottom is your water filter. Why do you need that? When your compressor is running and a lot of heat, there's going to generate water inside of the compressor, condensation. And that water, you don't want it to go up into your gun and out onto the paint. So this is your first step. Second step, uh, regulate the proper pressure for your gun. This is really important. If you don't have proper pressure, you're not going to have proper flow on your paint. Now this is really important to ask the person that's selling you the paint, how much pressure do you put on? Don't be stupid like me and apply the paint and then ask afterwards, because I put it at 20 pounds, and for the paint that I needed to do, it was 26 pounds. So my paint didn't come out quite as nice as I hoped, and I had to sand it, and we did a lot of work after that. So if you want good flow, good, good pressure. Up here is your fan pattern. You're gonna open or close as much. So you're gonna open up to the max, and then you're gonna close it down just a little bit. And you're gonna see your fan pattern is gonna create a novel. Once that's done, then you have to adjust how much paint is coming out of your gun. So there's another little adjuster here that you're gonna open or close, and you want to be able to hold the gun pressed in for two count, seven inches away from your object, and that two count will not have any drips going down. If there's drips, you got too much product coming out. When you're applying the paint, you always have to keep it equal, back and forth, and you just give a little feather at the end to make sure that there's not too much product getting after each layer that you're overlapping. Because when you see a boat like this, a 45 footer, you're gonna be overlapping a lot and a lot and a lot and it'll never finish. So after that, we have all our gun adjustments. We're ready to prepare the paint. Paint preparation is also depending on your product. We use the Emron 3.5 high gloss. There's all sorts of paint products that are out there and you're gonna have to apply the proper catalyst and the proper dilutant that goes into it. So each paint company has their instructions, follow the instructions to the letter, buy yourself little containers, put the stuff that needs to be done, and you wait the amount of time, some paints you can apply it right away. Uh, as we were doing the uh, non-skid on top of the boat, we had to wait 15 minutes for the product to get mixed into the paint, and the non-skid was really easy to apply. Now here's the trick with the non-skid. You buy yourself a little foam roller, that has very little foam, we got that at the local boat place, and you just go one direction and you wait about 15 or 20 seconds and that paint becomes just a little bit tacky and you go in the other direction. As you're going in the other direction, you're gonna feel your roller that's a little tacky and as it's tacky, it's spreading the material really equal all around. And you wait about three or four hours to apply your second coat that that fresh uh, paint that you can walk on it and it's not gonna leave any marks. Bottom line, folks, we are professionals. This is how we did it, how we got through. And don't forget, practice, practice, practice. Because unless that, you'll be doing a lot more work. Like us, I didn't ask the proper suggestions. We actually painted the blue twice on this boat. Sanded it all and restarted. If you don't mind doing that, hey, you like working, like me. <laughs> but if you don't mind doing that, then hey, you can practice directly on the boat. If not, practice on panels, give it a go, back and forth, back and forth. 
And the more practice you got, the better you'll be and a better result. And like I said a while ago, don't forget to ask the professionals. You can look at a couple of videos on YouTube, but if they're not talking about the same products that you're going to be applying, like me, and I watched those videos and it wasn't the same product, I didn't have the proper settings on my gun. Professionals know what they're doing. You go see them, they'll be glad to help you out. They'll say, hey, look, you know, you put this amount of pressure on the gun, you put this fan pattern, you put this amount of product, you go back and forth at a regular speed, and it's gonna look beautiful like a mirror. That's the best.